I'm speaking today to Rob Barker, the president of Precor and board member of AMA Sports. Rob, thank you so much for joining me today. No, it's a pleasure. It's nice to talk to you. Now, of course, today we're chatting about trends for 2018. What do you consider to be the most important trends in the fitness industry? The big trends that a lot of people are seeing right now, I think, uh, as a result of so much choice that's going on in the market. So I'd say trend number one is consumers, exercisers have never had more choice than they do today. And um, it used to be not that long ago, people used to have relatively limited choice of the number of places they could go and uh, work out. And you used to have people saying to each other, hey, are you a member of a gym? And that person will probably say back to their friend, yeah, I am, and which one? Now you get people saying to each other, oh, do you kind of work out? And, the, and people say, yeah, I, I'm a member of a gym. I buy a 20 pack of boutique studio classes. My friend and not, my buddies and I from college are doing a tough mudder, you know, in six months time. I pay $4.99 for this app, you know, to give me ab, you know, the great abs in 30 minutes a day. And I lean that against the wall at home. So yeah, I'm into fitness. And so uh, even outside of clubs, there's that. And then, of course, within facilities, we have, uh, you know, everyone's talking about boutiques, low cost, mid-market, many-based, premium. So it's just really ch about choice. It, it, there is so much choice out there. You're absolutely right. So in your opinion, how can operators actually address that trend towards choice? Well, I, firstly, it's decide who you want to be which is, that's not changed in business. That's been the same since the fitness, fitness industry started. But uh, again, it's very, very important these days to really understand who you want to be and um, what you, who you want to go for and in many ways who not to serve. Even though I love the fact that most people in the industry, we have this one common strand of DNA, which is goes to us all, which is we want, the world to move more and we want more people to move more often and be happier but when it comes down to actually running um, whether you're a hotel owner or you're a university or you're a private health club or you're a, a municipal kind of facility you have to really choose who you're going for and then once you've decided that once you know you understand what these people want and you have to deliver, deliver experiences not facilities i think that's the big thing as well Rob, so how important is the exerciser experience? Well, the exerciser experience is everything. Uh, and I think all operators will probably agree with that. But now it's moved to what's the evolution of that. People want to be treated in a more personal manner. People want the, the right things for themselves. Uh, people want to uh, work out in places that are kind of nicer looking. And it's more of a, an experience. It is a leisure time. And so it's not surprising that the premium clubs are doing really well and investing. It's not surprising that the boutiques are doing well because that's a highly branded concept based small group. Thing. And then the successful operators in the middle are now looking at what can they learn from the premium? What can they learn from the low cost? What can they learn from the boutique and kind of put a wrapper around some of that and offer in many ways the best value for money that you can get. You know, 35, 40 euros a month gets you a great facility in a lot of towns. Absolutely, absolutely. So in your opinion, how can operators actually capitalize on that experience-led trend? Yeah, then that's the, that's the challenge because when people say, I want to deliver better experiences, quite often the operators quite rightly will think that's a lot more money. And I can't afford to put a lot more staff, even if I can hire and retain great staff. It's very hard for me to, to do that. So that's where digital is coming in, for example. And there you see a big trend at, uh, in the industry right now. There's a big digital tipping point that's happened. And uh, that digital kind of tipping point is we're just going through that. But it's not because digital is a great thing. And, and this isn't my quote, somebody else told it to me, but I will pass it on because I love it. It's, Digital is like fire. You can cook with it or it can burn your house down. And, um, but it's really about enabling experience, especially if you can do it through digital because it's consistent, it's well branded and the cost of delivery is low versus the stuff through staff. And we, then you keep your staff 
for the stuff that we've seen in, in classes and those hero instructors, those hero trainers, and they really add something that uh, digital will never be able to do. So Rob, let's talk specifically about Precore. How is Precore enabling operators to introduce these trends that we've been talking about to their members, helping them stay current and maximize their business opportunities? So one thing that we've spent a lot of time and money on is, is connecting our hardware to make sure that there's uh, the right digital plumbing is all in place, the content to flow through seamlessly and easily, single sign on, um, touch screens that have a UI on them that, that means you can work out and touch the right buttons easily as your, as your body's in motion. And then connecting the first set of connections is to things that people already enjoy in their lives anyway, like Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, if you're in the States, ESPN, all, all of these services that you, you already enjoy. Why can't you enjoy them in the club? And then secondly, there's, of course, there's a big need for training programming and for people to have more specialist training programming, depending on their needs. So they're the two really big areas, uh, I would say, you know, making sure the connections happen seamlessly and easily. And let's not forget that there are privacy laws to be uh, obeyed um, to. So it's very important for us to make sure that we have robust, robust networks. But at the same time, it's all about content and experiences, really. So in addition to the technology experience, what other sort of experiences are you seeing are really popular within facilities? You know, small group training is, is very popular and... And that's why I keep coming back to experiences because CrossFit has taught a lot of the traditional industry that an experience can be just a piece of chalk and a chalkboard and writing up your personal best and, and just going for it, which, so it's, it doesn't have to be digital. Of course, as you say, it's uh, small group training, Queen X, uh, we acquired that company a couple of years ago. We've really spent a lot of time developing the product and developing the master coaching and the education to go with it. Uh, and it's super popular in clubs now. You get, you get a lot of people that can't afford to pay for a one personal training session where they get one to one. But equally, they're looking for something a bit more personal, a bit more small group than 40 people in an aerobic studio. So there's a sweet spot now of maybe 12 to 14 people all working out together. It's like team training. And so Queen X really enables that. And, and those people that do that, they stay members of the club for a lot longer. So it's actually a retention play as well as a secondary revenue play. Well, you know what? I've got to tell you, Rob, I've just returned from Ursa and the Queen X display and the programming that they demonstrated was spectacular. I've never seen anything quite like it. So it was amazing. Uh, as, as from a viewer perspective, it was an amazing experience to actually see what they, uh, how they demonstrated the Queen X system at, yes, uh, at it's Ursa. Very fun. Those, those guys did a nice job. I'll pass your message uh, on yeah, to them. Spectacular. It. Yeah, it's great fun. And they were doing that for two straight days. So, they must uh, have been exhausted, those master trainers. <laughs> I did one hour in the early morning workout and that, uh, that was enough, but those guys did two days. So yeah, that fit. It's just great. incredible. As a matter of fact, while we're on the topic, one of the things that I saw that I absolutely loved was how easy um, it was for them to transform from one exercise to another. So how easy each of the, um, the slings and the bars that went across, everything was just so quick and easy. I mean, they made it look <laughs> super quick, but um, it was great, the flexibility of the, uh, of, of the Queen X system. Yeah, that's, uh, that's probably at the heart of the key of why it's so successful is a good trainer will be able to set it up and depending on who's coming, they'll be able to, on the fly, they'll be able to make changes and they'll just be able to hook the right apps, we call them, you know, put the apps on there depending on what the focus. And I, my local club uh, down the road from the office here, I can go in there at peak hours and it's a lot of people doing kind of the harder stuff. And if I go in there at off-peak hours, I quite often see an active aging session going on there with a, a load of more senior people, and people are loving it. So, and then when the unit uh, doesn't have a class, um, that space is all free underneath for people, for members to use anyway. So, uh, yeah, it's working great for us.
Love that flexibility. Now, if anyone wants to chat further to the team at Precor, if they want to get some more information, should we send them to the website? Is there anywhere specific they should go to chat further? So uh, yeah, precor.com, please start there because uh, there's a lot of busy, uh, videos and content on there. We also have live chat on there. So we have some of our experts uh, online. Uh, you'll see the, uh, the rep slash dealer locator as well. You can click on there and you'll find the right person for your country or territory. And then also you'll also be able to find us at some of the trade shows like uh, Ursa that's just been and FIBO just coming up in Germany. Fantastic. Well, Rob, I want to thank you so much for joining me today to talk about fitness industry trends for 2018. That's a pleasure. It's great to talk to you. Thank you.